Can we stop making giant rectangles on t-shirts? Yes, please. Knock out the artwork and let the shirt color come through. That's the best thing you can do for your customer. Let's open this file in Photoshop and learn just how to knock out artwork for a t-shirt. This simple trick removes areas from the design, allowing the shirt color to show through, reducing its bulkiness and improving breathability. Step one, make a copy of your layer. Before making any edits, copy your artwork layer and hide the original. This way you always have a backup. Step two, select the black areas. Click the magic wand tool and adjust the tolerance. The tolerance level is set at a default 32, meaning it's selecting 32 lighter and 32 darker tones of your chosen color. I'm bringing this down a good bit as I don't want to take out too many dark details. I recommend you play with this to fit the integrity of your artwork. Okay, now let's select a black area. Behind this tire feels super dark to me. Then let's head up to select, down to similar, and grab all the blacks in this design. Final step, number three, remove the black. Simply hit delete and the selected black areas will be knocked out. Then deselect and check out the results. Your design is now thinner, lighter, and more breathable instead of a thick, uncomfortable rectangular block on your t-shirt. Now, if you're concerned about how your art will appear on your apparel, go ahead and add a blank layer and turn it to the color of your t-shirt. Here you can see where your art will look like before and after you press it. Our tip to you, when you prep artwork, ask yourself, can I use the t-shirt color to reduce the amount of transfer applied to the shirt? This results in less bulk and better feel every single time.